Let's do this. Hello, everybody. We're here. I'm alive. I'm fucking tired. Let's go join into the thing here. Why is everybody muted? What the fuck? Having fun chatting, says Crow, and literally everybody's muted. <laughs> oh, my God. how's it going? Uh -huh. Hi, huh? Hello. Hello. Weaklings. <laughs> Weaklings? What do you mean? We can't leave it for that alone. Crow did it first. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a weakling now? What's happening? Crow's idea was to all just be silent whenever you join. Oh, I see how it is. Okay. And they <laughs> yeah. mute instead of just shutting up. Wow. <laughs> well, I was just gonna shut up, but then sing this. Couldn't music, even so commit to the bit. Put <laughs> <laughs> that. Oh, <shit>, you <laughs> But if any honest, the way you said it with the lemonade before, it kind of sounded like you were you were drinking wine and lemonade mixed together. I yep. Like, what? <laughs> yep, no, oh, that's absolutely what it was. It was a, it was no. blueberry blueberry oh, lemonade God. mixed with wine. But the thing is, like the wine that I had is like it's like a sweet wine. It was like a citrus sweet wine anyway. That doesn't make it any better. So because I don't like normal alcohol, I fucking hate alcohol. So the only ones I ever get are ones that are that's either sweet already or ones that like I can't taste it. So I purposely got one that was sweet and citrusy, so I could mix it with lemonade. Yeah, I think you just have done the right IQ. alcohol. I, I've never <laughs> had an alcohol I like by itself. Like I could only drink it mixed. So yeah, that's uh, that, that's what I was drinking. It fucking sucked. I mean, well, it, it was drinkable. Like the thing is, it's more like the wine just made everything worse. Like it's just, it's just how alcohol <laughs> generally is, though. I, I've never, like I've said, I've I've never had the only alcoholic drink I think I've ever had that I enjoyed um, was like at Disney World. It was like this coffee, it was like an Irish coffee cream and oh, like alcohol yeah. mixed together. I don't remember what the fuck it was exactly, but that one it was like one of my first drinks I ever had. I think because when I went when I first turned uh, twenty one, we went to uh, we went to Disney World and like that was the first time I ever drank. So. The only real alcoholic beverage I've uh, had not just been wanting to vomit on was when I was at the, in Spain. It was one the drink called Snowball. Oh, Snowball. I think I've heard of that, yeah. It's, I have no um, idea what, what is that is. Is it a uh, coconut sort of thing? Because that sounds like it would I be... don't remember exactly what it was because I was... Uh, just turned to like 17 18 snowball alcoholic drink let's find it by the way just to mention we, we are from different countries so it's it's fine for Anders to have been drinking at that time <laughs> <laughs> and also i think we haven't mentioned this before as well but rio here is actually at work uh, at the time so i said it mic is a little bit <laughs> oh we introduced <laughs> okay yes. i don't even know <laughs> Uh, it says Snowball is called Advocat, is another way. I don't know if this is it for you, but it, it's a classic Christmas cocktail, traditionally mixed with Advocat, a mixture of egg yolks, sugar, brandy, and vanilla. I hate, I hate how these things get stuck with my tea so much, though. Mm. You fucking suck on them in No. <laughs> I should just fucking swallow him like a pill. That way, I just get over with. And, and, then we and you don't even taste. Yeah, then I don't even taste. Exactly, that'd be the best <laughs> outcome. <laughs> oh, should I just be practicing? Just Although honestly, knowing you will taste it every time you burp. <laughs> exactly, <of> <laughs> knowing my luck, like it, as it digests in my stomach, I'll just be tasting it, fucking coming up over and over. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, fucking. Uh, Swallow the rotten egg hole. Oh my god. I, I'm never, just... ever <laughs> having that one again. If I see any bean that even remotely looks like that one, I'm throwing it away. The day is ruined just from me pick, like, picking that. It's like it's like picking in fucking phasmophobia. I just pick the fucking hangman <laughs> right then and there whenever I get the damn rotten egg one. It's just I die immediately. The end. <laughs> That day is a don't go outside day, or else you'll be striked down by Zeus. <laughs> Strike me down, Zeus. 
I can surely now, like, say the three grossest things I've ever had are ranch soda, uh, that rotten egg jelly bean, and the freaking the fucking earthworm jelly bean. Those three are currently there, and they've all been because of fucking the stream, and it's be you guys' fault. It's <laughs> Blaming others. It's all your mm. fault. <laughs> I think uh, that quite, quite well to a question because I was watching uh, the news. Mr. With, Wolf, I swear yeah. to God. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Well done, Mr. Wolf. That's a good joke. <laughs> Terrible. Um, and the BBC was actually saying that uh, there, were, there, was, there was this article in the BBC that was talking about uh, Twitch itself and they were making it out as if Twitch was promoting unhealthy like streaming time and expectations. Which I think is complete and <laughs> bullshit, because listening to what they were saying was just sort of... It was so bad. <laughs> the only thing that's, like, true in that scenario is that if you string lo stream longer, you're more likely to uh, maintain viewers, because they'll hmm. stick around with you longer. But, like, it's not necessary, and, and there yeah. is nothing forcing you to do it, other than yourself. But like it, it is it is true though, like if you have a consistent schedule and you stream for a longer amount of time, you could look at my own analytics. Like I had what, like around high thirties to forties on average during the marathon streams every every day. Mm -hmm. Which is not what I normally have. Like now after now the marathon's over, I'm down back to my like twenty to thirty count generally. And I think it's just because it's probably, <laughs> funnily enough, it's just because you get more lurkers and AFKers. You start the stream <laughs> early in the day, you get the, you get people from EU join, and then they forget to turn off your stream, and then later in the day, they're still on your channel still. So when you're late at night, like normal US times, those people join it too. And so <laughs> it makes it look like you have more numbers. And on top of that, like, yeah, the longer your stream is, the, the more chance you have of, of getting a raid as well. Yeah, and then you also get more raids and stuff like that as well. And, you and get then they get their lurkers as well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I've, I've had it when I was uh, streaming Hi, quite long. regularly. Um, exactly. <laughs> where I, I got raided by, uh, what, what was her name? Her name was Div... Is it Divana? I think Divana, that's her name. yeah. Yeah, yeah, VRChat um, streamer. Diva. Uh, yeah, yeah, Diva. Used to be mm. Diva, now Diva. Uh, lovely person. Uh, <laughs> I have to add that, you know. <laughs> um, and I noticed that my view account you know, jumped up. Shut like there was, there was like uh, it was a raid of about hundred people. So first of all, there was hundred people. It was like, oh yeah, cool. Introduce myself. Got drumming, and then of course it drops off. You know, it always does with raids. Mm -hmm. so you can't expect those people to stay. But it actually stayed at quite a high number. It was like forty at that time, and I normally have like seven people. Like watching my stream, so forty is is a hell of a big number to me. Um, yeah. Although, unfortunately, I did actually encounter a crasher in VR chat because I was streaming it at that time, uh, which actually crashed the stream as well. So when I restarted the stream, uh, all not gone. all those forty people were back. They were gone. They were gone. So it was all, <laughs> all the way back down to the seven. It was like, and you can tell that they were just lurking. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the time that happens. Mm. But, I mean, the way that the BBC put it towards it, the way this, this article thing was, was aiming at, it was making it seem like it was Twitch's fault. Like mm -hmm. it was Twitch's responsibility and that they need to do more. But I think that's, it's complete bullshit. It's like, there, there is a line somewhere where uh, people got to realize that they've got to look after themselves and they can't rely on all these big companies to look after them. There's, there's that point where you've got to take care of your own shit, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Streaming isn't necessarily like a thing that the company and like tells you to do. Like you're the one that does it. Yeah, you, you do everything you. on your own, basically. Yeah. So yeah. you don't really have anyone like you, they can't be blaming Twitch for that because they don't even like talk to most of their streamers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, Twitch and just basically thing. like basically just gave a bunch of children handguns and said have fun, yeah. and so like that's <laughs> yeah. that, that is Twitch. Like it, it's really just a matter of you you do as much damage to yourself as you do. Like it's up to you. Like <laughs> yeah, I think the best route. example of this would be XQC. Even though like not a lot of people like him, if he streams like 12 hours every single day all the time 
he lives on stream basically yeah, yeah. and yeah. his viewership his viewership shows that just because yeah. he is constantly on stream and never doing anything else he, he is absolutely insane mm. yeah i mean like that that's also like it, it, it's a matter of like you need to know your limits essentially and a lot of people yeah. will overexert themselves or like try and force themselves to stream more than they should like i the reason why my streams often can be very short or at random times is because i only stream when i feel like i'm comfortable to stream right now like the only times that, like you could you kind of could see it during the marathon stream but like it whenever i was starting that early or like uh cons like what do you call it uh trying to keep that schedule there were many times where i would like start and i'm just dead to the world there's uh yeah, yeah. there was times where i'd have to like afk for like 20 minutes or something because i had to like go take care of something or go try to get my shit together so i don't die on stream like that <laughs> there was there's a lot of things like that and generally i try to take care of everything before i start streaming or I try to yeah, make yeah. sure I'm like, you know, I'm not feeling sick, which is hard for me because every morning I feel sick, essentially. Um, trying to yeah, just I mean, make sure I'm in the right mindset for it is like everything. So my streams tend to be a lot more sporadic. It's harder. It's really hard for me to keep a schedule at times. I'm, st I'm not at like a huge streamer point like other people are. Uh, and like there is reason for me to like look into other stuff still because mm -hmm. like you know streaming you don't get insurance since we're in yeah, the US yeah. you know we have the this great system of uh, if I were to just suddenly break my leg I'm gonna be in debt for life so <laughs> yep. yeah like oh no I just had this one bad experience this bad like condition just happened or I had a heart attack or something like that congratulations that just scarred your fucking account for <laughs> the rest of your life yeah fingers crossed that none of you in that or or in this in this call as well ever get diabetes in the u.s holy shit <laughs> it's it's not a good thing no luckily i have healthcare with my job so yeah exactly <laughs> that's what that's like the only real incentive to like you Which, look for yeah, other jobs <laughs> when people who have diabetes in the u.s just get the their kidneys stolen more or less because they're <laughs> yeah. forced to pay outrageous prices for insulin because they need it. Yeah, but and the, over and the here, market gets you get insulin speed. for free, more or less. Yeah. In fact, actually, Pretty much is, an arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this is actually one of the things that I really, one of the reasons why, even if I, I, I could and I had, you know, the right layback and I had reason to live in America, one of the reasons which I would just say no anyway is because of their. Well, the, the scandal with diabetes, with, with insulin, because insulin is a really cheap, really cheap drug to make. It's, it's, it's fucking, it's, it's like pennies. You do not need a lot of money to make insulin, but the companies that are make insulin in the, UK, in the US have got such a monopoly on it, and they've, they've talked to each other to keep that monopoly that they charge outrageous prices for it. And yep. it's it's like it's yep. honestly it's horrible. Uh, the the U.S. is definitely has its issues. There there was one thing that's recently happening. I don't remember what his name was, but there is this one like billionaire who was just who just finally grew a conscious. Essentially, <laughs> it was just like <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm starting up my own medical like uh, distribution thing, and he's essentially selling everything at market price, like the way it should, like or like mm. at the correct like you know fair prices. So yeah. he he's just started it recently, and I, I don't remember how well it's going, but it sounds like uh, th they had like over a hundred drugs already, and like all of them are cheaper than any other alternative. Like is how he's selling them. So yeah, this is this is actually one of the things, though. And with, it's just like that, that's all it takes. Yeah. It takes one yeah, fucking exactly. billionaire to just be like, ah, maybe I'll do something good for once. <laughs> the amount of money he's probably gonna make off that just because he's undercutting everybody with their bullshit prices. Yep. It's like ridiculous. I just really hope that because uh, I remember there was there was somebody who did that the same sort of thing with insulin in the US, and the US the the companies that do actually have the monopoly. Don't know how they did it, but they managed to basically crush him. They did some really dodgy shit, and they managed to just crush him and and put him well well out of business, <laughs> um, which was really 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 bad. 
So I really hope that that doesn't happen with this guy. Like, he's got my full backing then. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know his full story. I just saw, like, a quick thing about it. But it's, a, it's like, something that's recently gotten started. And, I mean, I'm hoping it, it grows so that way people fucking, you know, like, can get their medicine for, like, fair prices and shit. Like, it's, it's pretty screwed how it currently is. But, I mean, hopefully also as, like, time advances, like, other medical things get cheaper... Yeah, like the new Uber ambulances, that'd be nice. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What? I'm, not, I'm joking. It's not really a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, introducing Uber ambulance. Tired of those insane prices for <laughs> from the general ambulance? Well, just call your local Uber. <laughs> get you there for 200 I'm, quid <laughs> i mean we're essentially already there i mean a person would rather fucking just be like oh do you want us to call an ambulance nah i'll walk yeah. well yeah but <laughs> both of your legs are broken i'll crawl i will fucking <laughs> crawl i myself across the floor and get more injuries yeah. so i don't have to <laughs> even <get> <laughs> I'll crawl there, fucking scraping the rest of my legs off, and it'll still be cheaper <laughs> than if I took the ambulance I mean, to get there. <laughs> the hospitalization is so fucked in uh, the US, because I saw someone who uh, uh, was really emotional, and uh, they got charged $11 for emotional outbreak <laughs> <laughs> in the hospital. Uh, what the fuck? Yep, yeah, there's... There's all sorts of shit they could charge you for. It's insane. <laughs> really I mean, is, yeah. it really is just a matter of everything's fucked. We got like a century <laughs> left in us. I don't know. No, <laughs> That's my estimate. <laughs> I think it'll be a little bit more than a century, but yeah, civilization is no. It's 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 gonna fall apart in the next two hundred years, hundred percent. Right, we, I mean, we, we all keep talking about this. We all saw how we dealt with COVID. Just imagine something worse than it. Yeah, right. Yeah, Watch yeah, the yeah, zombie apocalypse. Worse. Really happens. <laughs> yeah. It's my well, right to become a brain eater. All right. <laughs> well, I won't thing, trust right? this yeah, vaccine yeah. from the government. <laughs> it's all our own. <laughs> I'll let this. I have been not my arm off. So let me see here. You don't want to take the vaccine because you think there are microchips in it. But why would the government need microchips in the vaccine when you have a phone in your hand? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's literally are chips in most phones nowadays <laughs> that can be hacked or like used for the government's benefit if required. This is a, th a quick, a quick question with that, like, because obviously the the more services your your doctor provides you, the more you have to pay, right? Do they yeah. ever push like extra tests, like a blood test or like oh yeah, uh, scans mm -hmm. and stuff like that, even though? You, you likely don't need them at all. Absolutely. Every yeah, time I yeah. go to a doctor, I, yep. they, they're they like, oh, would you also like to get your blood test? Yeah, let's check your blood pressure. Would you like to do this? Would you like to do this? It, it's also like it's the same with like the dentist. Like if you ever go to the mm. dentist for cleaning, they'll also be like, do you want to have this, uh, what is it called? This mouthwash or whatever, this kind that, that's supposed to help prevent cavities or whatnot. Or do you want this extra thing like applied on your teeth as they're like brushing your teeth or whatever? And then you're and, like, they don't tell you it's going to cost extra. They're just like, do you want yeah. this thing as well? You say yes, congratulations, that's 50 extra dollars on your bill. <laughs> it's, it's, it's super annoying. Yeah, when I went to the, to the doctor like a year ago, every, every individual test that they would take, like thyroid, uh, like blood test, obviously, like you said, uh, all those additional tests like actually cost a lot more. Mm -hmm. mm. They're like, they're just trying to like stack up as many things as possible. Yep. Yeah, but you gotta get it's that like money. Whenever, <laughs> whenever I got sometimes my they chicken, sometimes they're just like, okay, we're gonna. Sometimes they'll, yeah, sometimes they'll just do it. Like they'll just be like, all right, we're gonna yeah. do this now without even telling you it's gonna it's cost gonna extra. Happen, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like you like, when you go. <laughs> when you go to a doctor, you have to go there as if you're like walking into a fucking telemarketer like area or some shit. Just <laughs> or like you're answering a telemarketer. It's just like, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? Like if they so much as say we're gonna do this thing, you have to like ask. Oh, does that cost extra? Oh, is that extra? Oh, is this also? 
<laughs> like imagine like in the food service thing like you went to fucking uh chipotle i just want a basic burrito and then they give you a burrito with like a full fucking extra like here's your guacamole extra cheese the sour cream it's like i didn't even ask for this yeah but you're paying for it <laughs> No, just ask for a fucking burrito. So like, here's the bill, and it's like, okay, so we had to take it out of the freezer. We had to, <laughs> yeah, yeah the way they it. break it down. We had, to, <laughs> <laughs> we had to wash it after. <laughs> the fucking like, the, this is how like they do with like doctor shit. Like, if you're trying to order. Uh, or if you're in the doctor, they charge you for like every individual fucking thing. Like the bill is like a fucking manuscript. <laughs> oh, you, you know why they do that though? They they do that as a, as a as a register, so your your insurance company uh, knows exactly what you've been tested for. So if anything, like if you get tested for something that uh, they don't think is necessary, <laughs> then they can say that wasn't necessary. Why are you charging us for this? We're going to take that off the bill. Thank you very much because you're fucking with us. Yeah, That's right. the good thing about that, that, insurance. Company, yeah, you know I mean? like th that happens a lot. Like uh, my grandmother tells me because like you know she's up there in age now and she's a lot wrong with her. That mm. anytime she goes to the doctor, she has to like it, every time she goes to the doctor, uh, the the doctor appointment doesn't end when she leaves. The doctor appointment ends <laughs> after the fucking two hour phone call she has to go through when she gets home to trying to take <laughs> off whatever the fuck all this other extra bullshit is. <laughs> It's just, it's no. ridiculous. <laughs> like it or not, the internet is, uh, f first things first, a very, uh, I think, I think uh, how do you put it, internet, it's, it's conflicting area. Yeah, it's very free. It's very, very free, I mean, yeah. it's literally just listen to more or less Bo Berman's video, Welcome to the Internet. Yeah, yeah. like, it's yeah. just, it's wild. Like, the internet is a very uh, wild place. It's like you're out in the fucking wilderness here. And anything could happen. So I think, I think actually, considering that fact, I think that there's there's uh, there's enough. What's it? Interest in? I'm, I'm just the wrong word, but <laughs> there's enough to warrant a, a an actual um, psychological study into groups on the internet and and how free it is, because it might well actually reflect how we are without the the sides societal rules like oh yeah yeah that, there's, there's a lots of things like this yeah i mean there, there's like yeah. there's case studies for these sorts of things in like video games and stuff as well yes. but it's like yeah, yeah. the thing is like if in when you're presented into like a video game scenario there's no real life consequence so you're more likely to do all True. kinds of crazy shit but, you know like but this is the thing there was um there was what was it there was it was like a an illness uh, was set loose into World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah, the blood yeah. plague blood thing. Plague. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. like, people were purposely trying to spread it around, and, like, people weren't, like, yeah. It, it, it kind of was, like, it's eerily thing, similar but... to how things played yeah. out here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There are people that purposely trying to spread it around. Like, yeah, it, were, people were like, oh, people, like, people would know, never do that. this in a real-life situation, yeah. and guess what happened? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> I, I mean yeah like there's there's lots of like uh, these sorts of things happen all the time like it's also now like the whole like vr chat uh people kind of idolize it but i mean there were still flaws even back then like you know there were yeah, weird yeah, people yeah. who would like come up to nags or any like popular streamer like do anything to get their attention or like or yeah, say some yeah. dumb shit or something like even at the very beginning like it still happened it just wasn't as often so like these these things sort of happen like, easy, uh, easy to handle it yeah it was easier to handle yeah, yeah. it wasn't as like prevalent but uh, like it, it was still there and it was like it, it was like the first cells of the cancer, you know, like, yeah. you, you, it, you knew I mean, this would uh, grow you eventually. You see how fast the fucking Uganda knuckles fucking blew Yeah, exactly, like... <laughs> Down point. Like I think when you got that was entirely our attention. fault too, Rio. Or like it was entirely <laughs> yeah. the VRPD's fault. Yeah. Remember, it was Twisted Anomaly was the first fucking person I knew to do the Ugandan knuckles thing. He was in the VRPD. <laughs> he was Specimen Zero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
I remember I have a video on my YouTube still, and it's like a full like two, three months before the Ugandan Knuckles thing even like started to blow up or whatever. It was him. It was twisted in a Knuckles avatar, and like after that, it just started like the fire was set. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mine was honestly really scuffed compared to how other people would do things. Like mine was all over the place. Um, it, but the reason why mine only really was so amusing was just because I did it pretty early on, and uh, I would time it with like my, my soundboard and stuff. So like it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't actually in the. I didn't know how to work sound with uh, particle effects and on my model. Cause like it was kind of weird and it was done differently back then. Like uh, yeah. sound would be like either absurdly loud sometimes or like absurdly quiet. Sometimes it'd be like global. Like it was a lot harder to manage that sort of thing. So I would just use the soundboard instead and like fuck around with that. But like the fact the nuke, for example, that I would do really presented the issue of just how much freedom they gave you, they give you for yeah. your <laughs> particles because like dude i literally would be <laughs> flashbanging the entire map like essentially <laughs> and like yeah, I, wonder, I wonder if this is a thing you might have been accidentally the first uh, i wasn't <laughs> 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 no, mine was never... I always made sure it wasn't so big that it would crash people because, like, if I started lagging when testing it, then I was like, okay, it's too many particles, and then I reduced yeah. the particles. Like, I always made sure it wouldn't, like, lag. All it really would do was just, you know, bake the effect or whatnot. So, and, like, these were very generic ones I was using, too, so they were, like, low-quality, like, low-poly ones or low-particle effects and stuff like that. But, like, I could... I definitely could have made a thing that would just crash everybody. Like, I, I remember when I was testing the nuke, I fucking put, like, f like 50 times the amount of particles than what it, I had meant to, and when I fucking loaded it, my game just died. <laughs> so, I was like, man, I wonder if I would have just killed everybody else as well. Like, I, it's it wasn't that hard to make a crash particle. Like, but yes, all right. <laughs> I guess we will probably start wrapping it up here for for now, everybody. Yeah, a quick quick outro. So, uh, uh, I guess I'm taking over. Sorry. Go for uh, it. <laughs> I do this every time. It's all right. <laughs> terrible. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we have our guest today, who has been Rio. Maxine. Who has been at work? <laughs> and at work. Yeah. No, I'm currently laying in my bed on my lunch break. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Rio, do you want to do you want to shout out? I mean, to you have been at work. Are? Uh, Rio Doggo is my Twitch, uh, Rio Maximus is my Twitter, and, uh, this is honestly pretty fun, and I'd be down to join you guys again if you guys do, like, repeat this. That was Hell awesome. Yeah. Hell I mean, sure. yeah, we do it every other week. Yeah, just vibe. Yeah. Have some random. I mean, honestly, we uh, Crow writes up this whole script every week, and uh, <laughs> we <laughs> and we ignore, we ignore it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, we generally no, the, covered like we three things out of like the words. twenty on the list. So <laughs> I've never opened it once. <laughs> and, and like, like, like I said before, like the, the script is more. It's more like get, a like, guideline, really yeah, if, yeah. In case we if lose we track, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're a very unorganized podcast, but at the same time, I mean, it's just us hanging out more than anything. Wait, this is a podcast. Yeah, this, is really it, this is a sack cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you you know where to find me. You know where to find Shy. You're on his channel. You know where to find Sig and and this as well. So, uh, yeah, look us up if you're interested. If you don't know who we are, and I guess this has been Sackcast. Yep. Every anyone have anything else to say here? Who are you? Who are you? I don't know. Cool. Who am I? That's a good question. Oh, uh, on